In the future, we're gonna release a video with a detailed description of how you can win this knife. Welcome back, guys. We're finally ready to sharpen our shovel knife and do some really fun testing with it. Right now, it's really dull, so I wanna get a really good sharp wire edge on it. It's pretty pointy, but really dull. So we're gonna sharpen it up and do a bunch of cutting. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, this is what I use to sharpen pretty much all of my knives. You can use a stone, but this just makes it a little bit easier. This is a, a diamond coated wheel for sharpening engraving chisels. It's kind of worn out, but it works really well for knives. It's got artificial man-made diamonds on it, and it just spins at a real low RPM. And uh, I hold the blade at about a 22 degree angle and uh, just start going at it. You can see a light little sharpening line on there now. Come at it from the other side. Oh. All right, so I'm done with the 180 grit. Now I wanna put out a worn out 260 grit on here. After we're done with that, I'll just, I'll just do a couple passes and then we'll use a, uh, a stroping rod to refine the edge just a little bit more and then we should be good to go. I think I'll give it a couple passes with this worn out 600 grit as well. Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty much there. Let's see if it'll shave some hair. Mm, it's doing it a little bit, but not quite how I like. Let me stroke it a couple more times, see if I can help it. I think we're there, guys. <laughs> I used to see if my knives were shaving sharp by uh, shaving the hair on my arms. And I occasionally do that still a little bit, but I try to just do it on my legs these days because I always wear jeans. You only catch me on shorts maybe two days a year, and that's if I'm on the river on a canoe. So I'm not worried about that. But when I used to use my arms, it would be all patchy and look like I had some kind of hair growth on my arm. <laughs> Drying this tomato off that I just washed up. Wash your fruits and vegetables, kids, when you buy them from the grocery store, okay? All right, so we'll cut something a flat spot for it to sit. Feels pretty good. All right. Does it cut a tomato? Yes, it does. <laughs> this is a big rope for such a small knife. Not a whole lot of weight to it. I wish the handle maybe could have been a little bit bigger, but we only had a shovel handle, so there wasn't a whole lot of wood to work with. The blade came out a good size, good thickness, but the handle's kind of light, a little bit smaller than I like. I have a really big hand, too. All right, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I haven't cut any rope in a long time, either. Hand's still wet from tomato cutting. I'm a little afraid, like, I'll hit it really hard, and the knife will come out of my hand and hit me in the face. Three. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna <laughs> hold it. The handle's a little bit small. Don't cut yourself. Three, two, one. Whoa. Dude, we gotta do another cut. Oh man, I wanna try to do it a little higher so we can get a bigger chunk fall off. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh yeah, it's cutting it off like hot butter. Let me mark a section out with tape so we can really see it. I have never cut one inch rope with a knife this small before, so it's actually working really well. Even with the lightweight, kind of a little bit smaller handle than I like. All right, so I'm, I'll make myself a little target. We'll aim for hitting it right there. It's a little low. I don't wanna hit the animal. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh-huh. Clean cut. Oh. Okay, so I was a little worried because this knife is made out of a shovel. I don't think it got very hard. In fact, we probably should have done more testing before we put the handle on and maybe water quenched it to get it harder instead of just the oil. So it looks like there's actually a little tiny, 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 tiny ding in it right here from the rope. And the rope really shouldn't have done anything to it. I'm, I'm thinking this steel didn't like welding to itself in the forge very well. So that might not even be a hardness issue. That, that actually could be just a, a little bit of a bad weld there because I can kind of see the lines from the weld. It could still be somewhat hard. We'll find out more as we uh, do some more testing. So I've done this with big knives a lot, just holding the rope up with one hand and then cutting it with the other one. Normally though, the rope is long enough to where I can have it over my shoulder, but it's all I got. So see if I can do this. <laughs> try again, try a little higher. Woo! Yeah. Again, don't try that at home unless you're uh, 
very sure you're not gonna cut your hand off. All right, this is just a fun little cut we thought up. We're gonna try to cut the apple without breaking the stem off. It's just hanging by the stem right now. You ready, Josh? I'm ready. Might be a little high still, I don't know. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, can I have three strikes before I'm out? I, I'll call that a miss. <laughs> I've done that with my big knife at a cutting competition before too. All right, take two. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Same spot. <laughs> I said it might be a little high still. I guess my body thinks so too. That was nice. My hand scraped some of the apple out. <laughs> Alright, that was so much fun. Let's do another one swinging. Since I'm so good at hitting the, the stationary ones. <laughs> Man, I aim low every time. Let's try again. <laughs> My hand keeps hitting the apple too though. Next test! It can definitely cut an apple. I don't think that was too much in question. I don't know if I can cut an apple though, but the knife can. Hey guys, Josh and I thought it might be fun to set up some water bottles and cut them up. We thought we'd start with one and then just keep adding to them and see how many I can cut. Let's do it. One water bottle. No problem. Two water bottles. Now remember, this knife isn't that big. It's not like I'm using a big 10 inch bladed, you know, chopper or competition knife. I think this blade came out to be like five and a half inches or something. So it's gonna be a little harder to keep it in the bottles. No problem. Twa. Oh yeah. It's gonna start getting a lot harder now. I think anyway. And my handle and hand are all wet. Watch out, Josh. Here we go, four bottles. You get them a little closer here. Ah! Did I cut them all? Yeah. All right. Guess we can try five. Woo! Here we go. Woo! <laughs> now it's getting where I gotta keep a lot of power in it, but at the same time, keep my blade level for a long distance. Uh, a lot of times when you're swinging, you have a tendency to like come in and then come out. So if I, if I do it too much like that, I'll end up not cutting them all. Psych. Six bottles down. I got a little close to the tops on those. I don't know about this, guys. Seven bottles with a blade this big, starting to get outside of my skill set, I think. The problem I'm probably gonna run into here is that since my blade's not very wide, I might swing and be cutting in the bottles, but then the, the blade would like leave the, the last couple, possibly. Whoa! No way! Oh, I got dangerously close to the top though. You need to aim down a little bit. My feet are getting muddy, people. All right, guys, we've got eight bottles now. Now, I've been to cutting competitions with a big competition knife, and I don't, I don't normally do that well, so this is actually getting, getting to the stage where I, even with my big knives, sometimes I don't do that well, so we'll see how it goes with this little bugger. No way! Eight bottles. We're almost out of water bottles, so uh, I'm gonna go for a full-blown 10 bottles on our final attempt here. 10 bottles. <laughs> Oop, hello. Hello. Hi. Oh no. Oh no. I cut three of them. I was one swing away from going too. All right. <laughs> 10 bottles with a five and a half inch blade. I'm done. I'm done. We're done here. guys, let's cut a pyramid of root beer. See if I can cut them all without knocking them off of each other. They're all pressurized too. That's awesome. That was loud. That was way louder than I thought it would be. Wow. I didn't think it'd be loud at all. All right, three, two, one. Whoa.
All right, so for our final test, I've got a whole bunch of half inch rope here, got about 50 foot of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the knife and just cut pieces of rope off, just little tiny chunks. We're gonna do that over and over and over again. Every once in a while I'll check the edge and I'm just gonna count how many cuts I get out of it before it uh, seems like it starts dulling. This will be a really good test to see how durable the edge is because this rope's pretty hard on it, cutting it over and over and over again. I'm planning on cutting with the knife until it won't shave anymore. I think we can probably get a hundred cuts before it'll stop shaving. And then after that, I'm just gonna keep cutting until it like gets really hard for me to cut. And I'm gonna say that'll be 200. Comment below on how many cuts you think before it stops shaving. It's already at two, right? I just cut this half inch rope over 300 times. Uh, I lost track at least 10 times while I was doing all that, so I added what I think to be about 50 cuts to that, so it could be around 350, but I'm just gonna say 300 to be safe, uh, 300 plus. And we're just now at the stage where it's just barely shaving in some areas. Not super well, but it's kind of just doing a little bit of shaving, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider that the end of where it shaves at, about 300. And show you here what it's doing. You can see it's kind of shaving a little bit, but it's just really not liking it. So that's it, 300 cuts, way more than I thought. I'm gonna keep cutting on this a little bit longer and uh, see if we can get it dull. Cause right now, even though it's not shaving that well, I would still consider this pretty sharp. This is probably a lot sharper than most of your kitchen knives uh, right now. I wanna see if we can get like 500 cuts before it becomes dull. I think we can after seeing how well it's held up so far. So let's get back to it. Wow, that was a lot of cutting, a whole lot of cutting. I cut the entire spool of rope, 50 foot of half inch rope, sizzle rope, and we ended up getting over 1100 slices out of this thing. It's officially at a point that I would call dull. It was still cutting the rope, but it was using quite a bit of energy to cut it. I would consider this now dull needing sharpened. Not extremely dull, just a little bit dull. It way surpassed anything that I thought it was gonna do. Looks like I ended up tempering it at about the right temperature too, because I was I didn't know if it'd be hard enough to hold up to a lot of cutting, and it seems like it's doing really well. So, something that's nice about carbon steel, I can't speak for shovel, because I haven't tested it yet, but with a, a lot of carbon steel knives, they're really easy to get sharp again. So after all that cutting, it's finally where I consider dull. Theoretically, a few strokes on this rod will get that edge nice and crisp and sharp once again, so let's give it a try. So guys, that was eight strokes on a rod. Eight. I've been sitting here cutting for at least a half an hour, giving it all I got, cutting up all this rope. I got the knife dull, but I'm pretty sure that eight strokes got it nice and sharp again after all that. That's the beauty of carbon steel. Even shovel, even junkyard, well not junkyard, but even unknown steel that's in a shovel it's carbon steel and acts like the carbon steel wood and makes it really easy to sharpen and hold an edge very well. So let's see. That was eight strokes with the stroping rod. And before it wouldn't cut at all? Hair. Yeah, I was completely wouldn't cut hair at all anymore. And we're back to pretty much original sharpness before we started the test. I give this knife a big pass and a thumbs up. <laughs> Keep an eye on our channel for the video next week that'll give a detailed description about how you can win this knife. Thanks so much for watching this series of videos. If you like the video, whoa, then don't whoa, forget whoa, to- Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We totally gotta show Dad what we did to his shovel. Oh yeah! Hey Dad, so you know uh, your shovel you lost a while ago? You didn't actually lose it. Josh and I saw it and thought it'd make a great project to make a knife out of. Here it is.